I fucking love the re-raised show re-raised number one show on the whole fucking planet. Kiss my ass now. Listen and subscribe to the King of Kings re-raised fuck you 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 who. Train up. Welcome to podcast number 12, where the best show in the universe happens. The best host in the fucking universe that you will ever hear on the fucking planet. Hammer. Anyways, turn it down. Why, boy? Why is it that there is some dogs that have way nicer hair than I do? Motherfuckers have blonde, nice, silky, smooth hair. I ask myself, why the fuck do these dogs have such nicer hair than me? Well, that's because. They probably live better than I do. Motherfuckers are rich. They've got their own. They motherfuckers got their own room. I don't even got my own room. Motherfuckers eat better than I do. They probably eat the gourmet shit. You know how they? I don't know if you ever seen a video on Facebook or YouTube where this fucking idiot white man starts slicing up some slabs of fucking fish and all types of shit for his fucking cat. This motherfucker ate better than I did. Which brings me to say, fucking feeding your cat some gourmet shit and there's people over there starving in other places. So, bringing that up, I wanted to say that it's good to always give back to a charity, any type of charity, even if it's like 20 bucks, 25 bucks a month. That's a little bit so, but a little bit goes a long way. I do it. If I can do it on this job and how much they pay me, they don't pay that much, but I'm not going to say. I actually got a raise, but I'm not going to get into that. It's a good raise. Anyways. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a good raise, which means that I'm going to, I can give more to charity, so. Anyways, going back to lecturing you guys. If you guys have enough to buy your cigarettes or your beer, and you have enough to give to charity for some children that are starving, that need food or clothes, water. So I encourage you to at least twenty bucks a month. I mean, how much is that to you know kids with cancer that have cancer or St. Jude? I did that for a while. Um, child fun check it out guys check it out and um, you should give a little this Christmas too so anyways uh, let's move on what was I talking about and by the way welcome to podcast number 12 I believe oh yeah we're talking about the fucking dogs Nice hair. Motherfuckers have manicures, pedicures. A groomer. I don't have a fucking groomer. I gotta groom myself. Shit, I gotta shower myself. These fucking dogs get showered. Uh, I even heard that Oprah Winfrey has like $30 million invested in her pets. Her dogs and the cats and all her pets, including her husband, that fucking orangutan. If she has a husband. If not, I'm going to have to go in there and see what's up with Oprah. Hit it up. Hit it from the back. 
He the front the front. Just joking, guys. Anyways, Oprah's animals are living better than I am. So, that's why they have nicer, silkier hair, these animals. Shouldn't be hating. But like I said, if you're going to be treating your animals like royalty, you might as well give to charity or something. Anyways, I wanted to say that I'm bringing back the Uri Reese, uh new staff that uh, is reporting from all over the world. And uh, Schizo is back reporting the news. Hey, Schizo. How you been? Welcome back. I'm sorry I didn't put you guys back in the show. We didn't have any money. We had to cut you off. But now... I'm a rich man, so at least a rich man at heart. So welcome back, guys, and do you have any news for us so we can start the podcast with some interesting news, Schizo? Reporting from Times Square, it's me, Schizo. Eerie Rees, congratulations, and thanks for bringing us back. To the Eerie Rees Podcast, reporting live from New York. Back to you, Eerie Rees. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, Mr. Schizo. Do you have any news for us, at least? I brought you back, but at least you should have some news for us. For the podcasters, or, there are millions of subscribers out there that I have are listening right now. Do you have any fucking news for us, at least? Yes, we have the latest and most latest popular news. First, Harvey Weinstein was caught molesting himself, looking at himself in the mirror. Also, he was molesting his dog. And latest news. Also, this podcast is brought to you by Itchy Buttholes, Preparation H, New York, take it. Put it in your butt. You don't have it in your drawers. Go to your stores. Anyways, Eerie Rees, the next news is the best news. That the Eerie Rees staff is back. Thank you, Eerie Rees. Back to you. Back to you, Eerie Rees. So, uh, Schizo, what have you been up to since the last time you were here working for me or here on the podcast since you left? What have you been up to? I've been working for Harvey Weinstein, sir. He also molested me, sir. So I had to look for another job. Luckily, you were here. Harry Ray's podcast number one podcast of the universe. You are a stupid fuck if you don't listen to the biggest thing since Good Pussy, the Harry Ray's podcast. Mama may la America babosa ego day tu ma adri chapinchi ma amon. So I pranked the same guy and um i feel fucked up and uh, i need to stop fucking with this guy because i seen him at work and i can't I can't keep a straight face when i see his ass so i pranked him three times twice in english and once in spanish so this will be the last time that i prank this guy because i feel bad for him And, um, when I see him, I will record the conversation, see what, what his reaction is going to be. Hopefully he doesn't beat my ass. Well, here, let me get the prank calls for you guys. Give me a second. Hi, 
I'm sorry to bother you. You've been on my mind for about a week now. What's the problem? Sorry, I, I can't tell you who I am because I've got a secret crush on you. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I, I just I want to you around. No, 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 no. I got no time to do nothing. Now. I love your hair, okay. the way it falls to your shoulder, mm -hmm. the way you giggle when someone says something funny. No. No. I'm not a big fan of the way you walk, though. It's a bit mannish. We need to change that. <laughs> no, no thank you. No thank you. I do have a crush. Alright guys. I do have others. Let's see here. I think it's this one. Yo, hello? Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna be there in about 10 minutes. Who? Who playing calling? around, dog? You got the drugs? Who is calling? Don't mess with me, man. You know who this is. I, I don't know you. I don't know who Just you are. Just be outside in 10 minutes. Where? I'm leaving right now. Maybe you got a room on that. I know all the money. What's going on when I get there? You hey, 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 you got a run number. Check it out. <laughs> check it out, check it out, guys. Anyways, uh, I pranked him again, but it's in Spanish. And um, I will post that at the end of my podcast for all those Spanish speaking people. And I will record this guy when I see him again. And I will tell him. And uh, we'll see his reaction, guys. All right. This concludes the prank cause of the year. When it comes to drugs, drinks, and smokes, there is no moderation, there's no holding back. I was afraid of what was about to happen, a fucking blackout. Who takes over when I'm gone? Who walks in my shoes? Hey guys, welcome to the podcast, motherfucker. This podcast is brought to you by Hoquiz Toothpaste. Start up your drawers, go to your fucking stores, and um, don't forget to pick up your grandma a pack of Hoquiz. Also, Hoquiz uh, toothpaste, uh, dental floss, Hoquiz dental floss. Uh, Get it today, and it O'Queefs toothpaste, and it tastes great in a cracker. So I wanted to talk about this fucking idiot, another wannabe Jim Carrey guru, uh, mystical guy. Uh, he wants to be a guru, but he's white, so I call him the Wurus. Here comes another Wuru. His name is. Benedict Cumberbatch. He came out in the movie Doctor Strange, which was a good movie. But now he's a fucking idiot. First of all, Just Do Video is the video that I'm talking about. This guy is trying to give you advice. The first thing he says, this is the best advice that anyone can get. Uh, according to stupid fucking white people. First, the guy says, he says to you, fuck, say fuck you to the world once in a while. That's advice. That's fucking stupid. And people are liking it on the online. It says right here, 20K like. So... And then the next advice says, be stupid. Okay. First of all, if, if you take that advice, then you are a fucking stupid ass. Kill your fucking self because the world is harder than that. 
You fucking stupid fuck. Anyways, going Learn back to, to the video. Fuck you to the world every once in a while. You have every right to. You must practice being stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Dumb, unthinking. M -m 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 <laughs> oh, no. Then you will be able to do. Don't worry about cruel. Make your own <laughs> un. Make your own. Make your own work. Uh, these type of white actors, once they start getting money and attention, Hollywood horrors, they start. They start thinking that they're Jesus or some sort of, sort of white woo-woo guru type of fucking person, like a higher power. Like I've always said in my podcast, these motherfuckers just talk and talk, but these motherfuckers talk all they want. They got all the money they want. They don't live in our shoes on tax paying American shoes. Uh, so saying that this fool's a fucking idiot. Of the year. Hopefully, I don't see his fucking dumbass ever again. Struggle, grasping, confusing, itchy, scratching, mumbling, bumbling, grumbling, humbling, stumbling, numbling, rambling, gambling, tumbling, stumbling, scrambling, hitching, hatching, bitching, moaning, groaning, honing, boning, 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 boning. Horse shitting, oh. hair splitting, nitpicking, piss trickling, nose sticking, air scourging, eyeball poking, finger pointing, alleyway sneaking, long waiting, small stepping, evil eyeing, back scratching, searching, perching, besmirching, grinding, grinding, grinding away at yourself. Stop it and top it and top it and top it and top it. So we're human, and as humans, we we experience all human emotion, pain. We have to go through that. It's not that we have to, but things happen in life. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. But this is human emotion. You can't, you can't avoid it. So, all these woo-roos and gurus trying to, these white woo-roos from Hollywood trying to sell you meditation classes that cost a shitload of fucking money. Yoga classes. But all this stuff you can find on YouTube so you can do it yourself. I've said it on my podcast, how to release stress and all that stuff, so you guys can look it up online. But these fucking wurus, all they do is just say uh, confusing, complicated um, woo gurus, a guru, uh, long sentence. But in this case, this fucking guy is just white and people are like, oh, look at a white guy is talking. Is he Jesus Christ? So now he's just talking out of his butthole. Diarrhea out of the fucking mouth. If you take this man's advice, then you're a fucking idiot. Just do it. What do you mean just fucking do it? Stop being a fucking jackass. We wake up. I wake up every morning, go to fucking work, pay my bills, and I do it. What the fuck are you talking about? Just do it. Do you mean uh, take a shit or something? Anyways, in life, you have problems, and when you go through them, it gets hard. But you learn from it, right? If you learn from it, then your life will get better. But if you keep making the same fucking mistakes and you don't learn from it, then you're a Stupid. fucking jackass. Stupid. Stupid. And if you Stupid. make a mistake Stupid. in listening Stupid. to this, Benedict, come in your back, man. Um, then you're an idiot and you should maybe go back to the roots and love yourself. I feel like uh, I feel like we've been sit back twenty years watching this stupid fucking video. People are chanting like dumbasses. Anyways, ending on a uh, news, we have Billy Brown in New York. Hey, Billy Brown, what do you got? Some news for us? 
This is Billy Brown from NPR News. Welcome back, Erie. Grace, we're here from New York City. As you can hear, the cars and taxis behind me. Very busy. Today's podcast is brought to you by Preparation H. If you have a cheap butthole, go ahead and go to your stores and get some Preparation H. Also, O'Queef's toothpaste. Don't forget to get your grandma a box of O'Queef's. Also, today in the news, we have gun yoga, hot yoga, pet yoga. The new craze of New York City is a new yoga hitting the streets, and it's called piss in your face yoga. Come down to the Big Apple, get a good workout and a good urine in your face. Also, the Raiders lose again to everybody. What is going on? Well, anyways, this is NPR Billy Brown back to you, Erie Rays, from New York City to California. Ending in uh, this note, thanks guys and for the listening to my podcast or not. See you next time, maybe. Pre-Erase Podcast 3030 is the new Pre-Erase Internet Show will continue soon. Please subscribe or fuck off, send the money, and beer. thank you, hashish. For Spanish-speaking people, the prank call will begin shortly. Dickhead of December. Good day, LA. Steve Edwards is now fired for admitting sexual harassment allegations. I've been watching this fucking idiot for fucking years. Always fucking hated his old ass. Something about him. Racist, old, white motherfucker. I already knew it was only a matter of fucking time for Steve Edwards to fucking go down. I would send Facebook messages to uh, Good Day LA. Sending them, telling them that Steve Edwards, first I send them a message saying that Rick Dickards is a fucking asshole, but I thought that Steve Edwards, that was his name. I thought that his name was Rick Dickards. But I sent him another message that Steve Edwards is a fucking racist motherfucker. Always knew it. It was only a matter of time for this motherfucker to go down. And, but now I'm happy that he's fucking gone. So now I'm turning on good day LA in the morning not to see an old fucking motherfucker who racist piece of shit on TV. So that's a plus. Okay. So he is fired for fucking a chimpanzee, other allegations of molesting women, men, and animals. Also, Steve Edwards was seen chanting at the KKK rally. Oh, I mean, a Donald Trump Make, great, make America Great rally was caught also touching himself in church while repenting his sins and confessing his sins he was caught jerking off in the booth so now he's been kicked out of good day LA and the church the Christian church he's banned from the Christian church for a day he'll be back the next day because Christians tolerate sexual abuse in the church so fuck him 
Alright guys, here's a prank on Spanish. Es este que está aquí. Oh, hola. Sí, sí. ¿Cómo está? Bien, ¿quién llama, perdón? Le habla a Bill del departamento de infracciones de la ciudad. ¿Infracciones? Sí, me gustaría tomar un poco de su tiempo para hacerle algunas preguntas acerca de algunas discrepancias que tenemos aquí en nuestro sistema. ¿Qué es que pasa? Bien, parece que tiene registradas algunas infracciones vehiculares sin pagar, que debemos resolver. Ah, pues no, no, no tengo idea. Ajá, podría no, hacerlo rápidamente, está de acuerdo. No, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo puedo hacer eso? Muy bien. ¿En, en la qué primera oficina parece la infracción por estacionarse mal, y no hemos recibido Ajá. un pago es del año 2008, por un valor de 2008. 35 dólares. ¿Usted tiene... Sí, pero, ¿qué, qué, qué, ¿Qué vehículo es? No, no, no. ¿Qué vehículo es? Ok. Sí. Le comento esto porque necesito... No, pero este disculpa, ¿qué vehículo es? Es muy ¿Qué vehículo es? Aquí tenemos... ¿Qué vehículo es? Más. ¿Me permite continuar? No, no. En realidad es un citatorio por ser usted muy estúpido para conducir. Oh. Ah, sí. ah, bueno. Sí, al parecer es ¿Eh? usted un idiota. Y no se le puede sí, no sí. citar en ningún caso. Ajá. Esto es una cosa de grande y al punto Sí. Sí. <laughs> so, all right, guys. It's the end of the show. Alright guys.